All right, viewers, back with issue number two. As you can see, 15 bucks for issue two. Uh, there are a couple of things from looking at the pictures I was ready to pick the bones out of this car, but now it's here. They fixed a couple of the things. I don't know if these are renderings, but anyway, let's jibber more die cars. So like last time with the Monaro, I used to have one of these Valiant Chargers myself. I had several Chargers over the years actually, but this was my absolute super favouritest one. I should never have sold it. It was a genuine RTE 37 six pack, one of less than 120 made. And I weep every morning knowing that I've sold it and I'll never be able to afford another one ever. But anyway, and once again, awesome photos taken by my late Uncle Phil. Uh, whom otherwise I would not have photos of some of my cars. Thanks Uncle Phil. Okay now as you saw from the thumbnail and as you've heard me bang on before charges are my thing. Uh, so we're gonna be able to pick pick the bones out of this. Now like the Monaro I reckon the wheels on this look a touch too big and I'll tell you something else for free, viewers. A little bit of a paint blemish here. A little bit on the stripe. This one's got Queensland plates on it, which is good. Now, you may have noticed on the front of the magazine, I'll put a shot here, um, that the surround of the grill is chrome and they're supposed to be black but on the actual model in hand they fixed it it is black and they have got the they got the stripe around the inside um i know on early rts that was red i can't speak for the late ones i thought they were too but that's okay uh Fixed windows, cone drip trays, vents in the thing. Try and have a look in at the dash. Yeah, it's got the proper RT dash and RT steering wheel in there. Okay, well that's a little bit disappointing. The rear, the tail lights are decals. Um, and one of the decals is crooked. I hope you can see that viewers. Put on the turntable, you'll be able to see it. And the Charger RT on the back isn't a badge, it was a decal and it should be red, white and black, not chrome like that. But it has got the, you know, the twin fillers, which aren't too bad. Uh, it's got the proper font for the four. Same with the RT, now notice the RTs on the guard. They're silver as well. They're supposed to be white, red and black. Uh, it has got the proper driver mirror, but it's got this big base on it that chunks right into the the door. It's not quite as finessed as the other two, which we will compare in a minute. To its credit, it's got the spare wheel tire underneath, like the big tanks had, because with the big tanks. The big tank took up all the boot and there was only space to put the spare in vertically in there so they had to modify the the boot floor to accommodate it it's got mud flaps on it too which is interesting um but again on the whole for 15 bucks i'll take it um But uh, it's making me appreciate the classic collectibles one all the more. We will get them all on the turntable so you can compare them. Now, this is the classic collectibles one that I've had for some time. I don't know what they're worth now. Uh, but it's a work of art. Um, it's it's spot on. It's got the, this going to seem like really picky. But across the parcel, well, not really a parcel shelf, but that gap between the rear window and the seats, supposed to be ribbed like the Carlectables one is. The wipers are a lot neater. Uh, the decal's a little bit better. It's got an aerial 
the rear vision mirror on it. You can see how it's just tacks on top like the real thing. Uh, it's also got steering. You'll see when I put on the turntable that the tyres are in a lot more in proportion. It's just... Anyway, I remember when, the day I saw this one, I thought, that's about as good as it's going to get. Now, uh, so 15 bucks for this one. I think I paid 50 for this when it was new. Uh, and then we've saved the worst one till last, the Trax Charger. This is what we had to suffer for years. Um, it's hard to find nice things to say about the Trax. The only thing you can say about it is, well, Thank you for making a model of it when nobody else did. Because this casting first started out as a 770, the luxury model. Now the luxury model had overriders on the rear bumper, RTs didn't. Uh, it has got separate taillights though, but they're chrome surrounds. They're not, that's not right. It's, the stripes aren't right. It's got the 770 mirror on it. It's still got all the 770 dash and interior. Um, the font on the 4 is wrong, we've done a better job of the RTs on it, uh, but that's about it. And if you look at it from the front, it's just, and the base, it's, it's not even close. You'll look by looking above, see how the proportions are all wrong on it, like the flanks are too thick and the boot's too narrow, the rear window is completely wrong. It's got windscreen wipers that are moulded in. It doesn't have the vents. It's got a VJ dashboard in it. Um, the RT on the bonnet is too small. Uh, these are the wrong font. And the wheels are chrome. They were like a spun, like a polished alloy on the real thing. They were never chrome. And it sounds like I'm ripping on the tracks one a bit. It's because it deserves to be ripped on and it was they were at least 30, 40 bucks when they were new. They even brought it out in some colors they didn't even ever come out in. So anyway, let's get them on the turntable and you can have a closer look at them, viewers. So I shouldn't rip too hard on the Trax Charger for a long time. It was the only show in town, and as a result, I've got nearly all of them. Uh, but it's just, when you compare it to some of these newer offerings, like this magazine charger, it just it only serves to highlight all the things that were wrong with it uh, as it comes around again. You look at how droopy the back of it is, the chrome tail lights, the decals are too far down. It's got... 770 overriders on the bumpers it's got the chrome rims when they should be like a polished aluminium look it's got the 770 wing mirror on it the front bumper is just flat when it should have a gentle curve to it uh, yeah there's just a million things going on with the tracks one that said the magazine car the wheels i think they're a little bit too big and you'll notice that it's actually a little bit larger in scale to both the tracks and the car collectibles one so but anyway i guess it's still within the sphere of 143rd the um what else can i say tracks you know could be a bit ambivalent about accuracy i know when they released their vg paces beautiful casting like they really got it did a good job and then they went and you could get two different stripe packages on the vg pacer and they decided that they'd put both of them on the one car and when questioned about it, I saw them say that they reckon they'd seen a photo on the internet of it and they believed it could have been a dealer option, which was just rubbish. But anyway, here we are with the magazine car again, obviously, in vitamin C and the classic car Lectables in Hemi Orange, which was the colour my E37 was. Now, it's magnificent. The classic car collectibles one you might have seen when i had it tipped over it's got the proper powder coated uh extractors and the proper colored engine it's it's just brilliant 
I love it so much. It's one of my favorites. Although I have noticed while it goes around that the Hemi six pack decals on the rear flanks aren't quite back far enough. That might have been a manufacturing issue. I just didn't pick up on mine. I'm not sure, but um, it's got the RTs are done right. And I also have to say as it comes around again that the front of the magazine car actually looks a little bit more factory accurate. Um, yeah, at any rate, it serves to show that at 15 bucks, what good value the magazine car is. I would recommend to you though, viewers, that if you're able, if you're picking one up, just have a close look because around the wheel arch of the uh, magazine car, there's some little bubbles. The stripe on one side's been rubbed off a little bit. I mean, we can't expect much for the money. It, it's, it's still incredible value. Um... Uh, you know, and if they've got a few there to pick from, just have a have a look at them first. Just make sure you get one that's all tickety boo. Uh, but on a whole, I like it. Now I don't plan on getting every one of these cars, so I won't be doing a review on all of them. Uh, next issue is the Falcon Cobra hardtop, which is pretty cool. Mate of mine has one of those, like a real one, and we'll see. I'll probably end up getting it, even though I'll insist I won't. We'll see. Thanks for checking out this little quick bonus video viewers, I really appreciate it. I also want to say how much I appreciate the support the 4th anniversary video and the Pontiac GP video I've been getting. They've both proven to be very popular with you all and I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, um, you know there's hundreds of them, like hours of entertainment for free. Anyway, I'll stop gibbering, have a great weekend, have a safe weekend, and I'll see you all next time on PB's Retro Restorations. That's what my channel's called, I almost forgot. Bye!